well, Jason uh, is an unusual character, and unusual character to be on our top ten list. Um, I think the unusual aspects of his life is what got him on the top ten list. He's got a, a solid education, an undergraduate degree. He took master's courses in international business, speaks fluent French, was raised in a Mormon family, and went on a mission to Paris. Um, he had his whole life in front of him. It's not often you see somebody who had that much going for him and that much support uh, turn to this life of crime, especially going from typical scams and cons right up to homicide and assassinating an armored car guard during a robbery. He may have been desperate in his own mind, but he really wasn't that desperate. He had a lot going for him in his life. He didn't want to lead the life most of us lead, going to a job, making a legitimate income, you know, paying bills. He didn't like that. So he found a way to con and couch surf for a while and, and use his friends a little bit for a while until he was able to uh, obtain money, usually through fraudulent means, to, to go to the parties and buy the big, expensive, lavish toys he liked and lead the life he wanted. When that became um, difficult for him to do, when he just ran out of money and he didn't have any options, then he turned to this, this robbery. We came to the conclusion very quickly that he was likely in California. We started looking for him in California. Word got out to Jason that there was a warrant issued for his arrest. He started to flee. We ended up hitting the house where he was within two hours after he left. Uh, so we just missed him there. Uh, then he, when he fled, he went south towards San Diego, turned around, went north, ultimately ended up, his car ended up in Portland. We believe he was in Portland as well. Uh, and that's the last he's been seen.